So, Amy, Tom, you two have been travelling around Australia since October 2010. It's now August 2011. And we're in Mission Beach in northern Queensland. And uh, our campsite's just over to your left. So tell me, what are your top five favourite things that you've done on your trip around Australia so far? Um, Turquoise Bay, Cape Range National Park, Western Australia. Definitely up there. And what's Which, so good about that? It's a, it's a it's free experience once you pay National Park entrance, which is like 12 bucks. Um, and you just roll up, grab a snorkel and goggles, and you can w wade out. It's literally, there's a coral reef, literally 10 metres away. 10 metres from the beach, beautiful white beach, and you're above um, tropical reef. And it's amazing, parrotfish, and you name it, it's there. It's, it's okay, what's that called again? Uh, Turquoise Bay. And yep. it's in Cape Range National Park, Western Australia. So about... 20 minutes drive from Exmouth. So about nine days drive from Sydney. <laughs> that's all. Okay, se second best? Oh, no, that's, this isn't in any order. No, okay, all right. Um, Two of five? Hartley's Crocodile um, Adventures, maybe, is it called? I'm yeah, not sure. yeah. In, and that's in uh, Chapel North Queensland, just north of Cairns. About half an hour north of Cairns. And it's 35 bucks a person. Uh... It is seriously the best thirty-five bucks we've yeah. spent. The best, best tourist attraction we've been to. So animals. why is it so good? Because it didn't over feel like, other didn't feel like nature a zoo. parks. It was like a natural setting the whole way around, wasn't it? Didn't yeah. have any cages or anything con like yeah. containing the so animals. So basically, you walk with the crocodiles. Well, uh, no, we started no. off. The first thing we did was we went on a boat cruise in their man-made lagoon. And in that lagoon, there are 18 saltwater crocodiles. The, one of which is the second largest salt, estuarine crocodile in captivity. How moment. big was it? Uh, 5.4. I think. 5.6? Was it 4.6? No, 5. Wide or long? Six. It's big. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God, not that. wide. And how wide was it? <laughs> Looks artificial. It was about the width, width of, of the car. troopy. Yeah, width of, width <laughs> width of, of a car. car. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. how high was it? Uh, not very high. Unimpressive height. Yeah. Basically yeah. enough to eat a person though. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. One but their um, croc attack show is incredible. This they guy is in the size of a swimming pool with, with a four metre crocodile. Four metre saltwater crocodile and he's yeah. in the water. Crikey. In a, yeah, yeah. Crikey indeed. In a um, Look at this beauty. water mm. with this crocodile just lurking around and he's in shin deep water just talking to us. Yeah, well he's crazy. obviously yeah. retarded. He knows, yeah he knows what he's doing. Or doesn't. Okay, bonus. third. Um, Lake Argyle mm. cruise with. Um, Where's Lake Argyle? Lake Argyle is in the Kimberley. Where's it's, the Kimberley? Um, Northern Western, Western Australia. Australia. It's right Northern on Western. the border of NT, it's Northern on, Territory, and Western Australia. Um, it's on the end of the Gibb River Road. Well. Right. Um, We're a little bit biased <coughs> because we, we worked, worked there. there. But How long did you work there for? Two, two weeks. weeks. Did, did you make anything interesting? <laughs> Money. <laughs> yeah, that was very interesting. Did you make any interesting signposts? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, for that's asking. interesting. That was my little gift. Duty. Your yes, little I gift to the Lake Argyle community. Yes, yes, but you have to go there to find out where it, what it says. Okay. Lake Argyle was amazing. We worked there for two weeks, and the last day we were there, we went on the tour, and it was just breathtaking. It was far better than either of us had expected it possibly could be. And just, our what made it boss, so good? Greg, who um, we were working for, he was, without a doubt, the best tour leader we've was he, ever was had. Was he the skipper of the boat or something? Yeah. He was, yes. Um, just the enormity of it. You don't realise how big it is until you get out on the water. The bird life, wildlife, everything that shows you. crocodiles, history, too. Crocs. Lots of Swedish girls in bikinis. Plenty of whatever you want. Okay. And Norwegians beer, and Swedes. Beer, swimming <laughs> and sunsets. Good. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, awesome. And free booze, yeah. Free booze. Oh, yeah. well, it's not free. It's included. You paid for it, yeah. 85 yeah. bucks. We didn't, but... Well, you work there. Yeah. Next is definitely Uluru Airs Rock, but... I There's would a say catch. You've got to drive there. Flying there isn't... Because I think what made it so special for us mm. is you drive through hundreds up. of kilometres of absolute flat, nothing, desert, dry, boring, nothingness. And then... All of a sudden on the horizon there's this big red thing and you go, wow, that's it's the sun. I've seen yeah. that before. Oh, not the and sun. It, it sends tingles down the spine, doesn't it? It really does. It was, so I did you know. fly in as well? No. We didn't. So how do you know it's no good? 
Well, because the, <laughs> <laughs> what, what yeah, is, right, the, okay, yeah, one-sided yeah, opinion, yeah. righto. Seeing it on the horizon, uh -huh. yeah. where most people don't see it from, because once you're at Yalara, you, you you're there amongst it. But on did the you, road to it, yeah. did you climb it? We didn't. Why we not? couldn't. Well, we were torn. We weren't sure whether or not we were going to because there's a lot of the community in the area sort Persuades of... Persuades you not to. And for give various you the cultural reasons. For You're allowed to? You are allowed to, but when we were there, environmental factors dictated... It was strong winds. Strong winds. Except nearly 30 people... Have died. 30 climbing. people have died. From climbing Ayers Rock. Well, I'll just point out that I was eight and I climbed it. Wow. You know. Well, it wasn't a windy day, was it? Just so, saying. <laughs> hell of a steep climb. So yeah. what's number five? I don't know. <clears throat> Fishing off Esperance Pier is good. but it Where's Esperance? Uh, that'll be south-western Australia. Down near Perth? No, well, a lot further south than east that. Of Perth. Down near Margaret River? Yes, south of Margaret River. Mm. Okay, Very so good. what made that so good? Just well, that's not really a tourist... No, it doesn't have to be. It's an experience on your trip. You just uh, want to boast about your squid. Yeah, caught lots of fish, caught a squid. Oh, um, did Japanese people happen to see you catch a squid? <laughs> they did. It was amazing. It was really? What like, happened? It was enormous. Enormous. Can't possibly That's what stand. she You're said. You're still talking about squid, right? Also, Sammy the seal, who's a regular... <coughs> if you catch a fish... Oh, it sounds like her. <coughs> throw the guts in the water, you get a seal. Oh. Which is yeah. pretty good. Just like that. But just add water. But his squid was the length of his leg and the which, calamari which leg? rings... Right leg. Okay. The calamari rings. Either or any? Any. <laughs> the okay. calamari rings, you could stick your fist through. You fisted a calamari. <laughs> That's disgusting. You fisted a squid. Yeah, Tom fisted a squid. Uh, flights over Kakadu is up there. Because you can't, mm. Kakadu is amazing, and you can't see Kakadu from the ground because you're enclosed by either woodland or swamp land. You have to get up in the air. There's just, we had no idea how much of Kakadu there was. Until you get up yeah. in the air. And it's, and it's just so... The size of England or something, isn't it's it? Enormous. But it's enormous. Australia's what, biggest what she park. said. There's one more that we could possibly add to the list. Hmm. Tomorrow. Dum, 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 dum. Dum. White water rafting. White water rafting? Tully yes. Gorge. Yes. Tropical North Queensland. We paid, well... It's normally two. Oh, are you going to give everyone a tip? Yeah, two right. Make all right, sure what's all the locals. tip? No, what's the tip? So what's the what's the asking price? Two twenty. And what did you pay? One seventy eight. Well, you haven't paid it yet. Well, you paid it. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you get it so cheap? You save fifty dollars a person if you claim you're a local. And how do you claim you're a local? Well, what do they say you have to be local to? And What's the distance? Well, what did you We're say? Staying at the caravan park. <laughs> Hello, our next door neighbour in Mission Beach <laughs> said yeah. we should ring you guys. We lied. So, could possibly go on to hopefully <clears throat> go on the list. Uh, well, we're expecting it to. Yes. Yeah, Bloody so. better. So now, just to recap, but, you. I'd just like to say that a lot of the other things that have gone onto the list as number number ones or up yeah. there's haven't had any expectations. This. Tomorrow, we've bum, all got high bum, expectations bum. for it, so <laughs> it could, be, could be downfall or making of it. Alright, now, just to recap, you guys have gone from Brisbane through New South Wales. Go ahead, take over. You or me? Briefly. Victoria, Great Ocean Road, on to the Spirit of Tasmania, to do Tasmania for five weeks, back on to the Spirit There's, of Tasmania. Did you meet everyone in Tasmania? Uh, twice. Both of them? <laughs> Both families? Yeah. Back on to the Spirit of Tassie, over to Adelaide, up to Port Augusta, and then up to Alice Springs, Ayers Rock, back down the Unadatta track to Maree, and then up the Birdsville track to Mungarani, where we worked for three weeks, back down the Birdsville track to Port Augusta, over to Streaky Bay. That's a nice place. Yes, yes. Big sharks, nice place. Biggest shark ever caught in the world was in Streaky Bay. And it weighed, was it four and a half tons? I don't remember. Wow. It's enormous. So then there's photos of it in the pub. Across the Nullarbor. There's a, there's a model of it in the petrol station. So oh. they Across the Nullarbor, down to Esperance, over to, what's the bottom part of Western Australia called? The bottom part of Western Australia, through Margaret River, up to Perth, all the way up the coastline to, well, Exmouth, then over to Karajini, up to Broome, and then 
Over Cross. Catherine, up what's to what's that? What's that road called? No. Oh, no, no. Gibber River. No. Which one are you getting up? What's the one that goes all the way across? The Savannah West Way. East. Savannah Way. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's from Darwin, including and then the Gibber River Road. Catherine, Savannah Way over to Cairns. Just been up to Cape York. Now we're back down to Mission Beach. Right. And how long has that taken? Ten. What's Eleven months. Ten and a half months. How about that, eh? Pretty good. Now, uh, we're going to have to cut the video off because we've hit 10 minutes and 30 minutes. Holy crap. Ten, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. And you have a pudding to go and cook. <laughs> so, thank you for imparting your knowledge. Bye.